If you want to market anything online, then you need a landing page. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create a landing page, this landing page, in fact, inside of Glide Pages. It has three sections and it is beautiful. And I'm going to show you step by step how to create it. But if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm actually going to share with you how you can copy this exact template and use it for your landing page. All you have to do is plug in your own text, your own branding, your own images, and you can start using this live page today. All right, before we jump in, I have to let you in on the biggest secret when it comes to a, a big, beautiful landing page or a website. And that is that it's all about the images. This background image here is what makes this really stand out and pop. If this was a solid color, like the navigation bar up here, it really wouldn't look that attractive. So the big secret about landing pages is it's all about images. I created all the images and assets for this landing page inside of Canva. I'll have my affiliate link for Canva down in the description if you wanna get started. So we have this that is just a bunch of Canva assets all plugged together for that big hero or that top section background. And then the other three things I'm using are these little shapes. Those are in the second section of the landing page. All right, so this is where I created and got these, and I'm gonna be using these inside of the landing page. So that's the big secret, is to create and get big, beautiful images and assets. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in. So I'm inside of my Glide Apps dashboard. If you don't have a Glide account, I would appreciate it if you'd use my referral link down in the description. But to go ahead and get started with creating a landing page, we can go ahead and start a brand new project. And I'll just call this LP for landing page. And this is gonna be a Glide page. And I'm gonna start from a blank template. The data source we're gonna use is Glide tables, just because we don't really need a lot of data for this, since we're just making kind of a mostly static web page. All right, so now we have this kind of blank landing page and there's really nothing here. So now it's just time for us to get started. All right, so I'm thinking we start from the top and work our way down. So let's go ahead and get this top nav bar looking exactly like this here. So to do this, let's start off by going to the settings inside of Glide and come to the appearance. And we're gonna paste in that purple color that I used in the templates. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that from my notes. So I'll paste that in there. And then now the accent color throughout the app would be this uh, purple color that I used. Then to actually change the name here, we'll change the name of the project inside of app info. So let me change that to landing page. And my picture here is showing because right now authentication is on, on this page. So let me go ahead and turn authentication off by going to privacy and selecting none. And so now we just have this basic plain top nav bar, but it has that accent color. It's tightened a little bit and it has the name of the page or whatever your, your product or your service is. Next, let's come back to actually add in this top section. The top section of a landing page is often called the hero section. So what we need to do here is come over and add a new component. And before I do that, let's, let's, let's just make sure that things are gonna be set up good from a data perspective. So the way I built this project is I had two tables. So let's go ahead and call this one the, just call it landing page. And I actually want to point this page or the, the actual page itself to that table inside of Glide. So if I click on this page and come over here, instead of pointing to the user's main sheet, I actually want to point to the landing page sheet. And that's just going to help us out in, in a second. And I'll, I'll get back to that in a little bit. All right, so now it's pointed to landing page. And let me go ahead and add a new component. And I'm going to add in a hero container. So a hero container, and that adds this thing right here. You can't really see it because there's there's nothing in there. So let's go ahead and add in some, some actual text. So the first big message that I have for this is markets your app. So I'll copy that over. And the title of this title here is going to be market your app. And that adds that in there. Let's go ahead and copy over create a stunning landing page in minutes. And this is the subtitle. So I'll put in a custom subtitle right there. I'm not pulling in data from the sheet. And the next thing we need is that getting started button. And so that's called an action inside of Glide. So I'm gonna go ahead and say get, get started. 
And then right here for the notification, I'll just say, uh, thanks for using our product. And so now whenever we press this getting started button, this notification shows up at the bottom. All right, next we need to add in this, this background image. And so instead of just editing the title, we actually want this whole background to change. So I'm gonna go up to the container level. And then here, instead of showing the accent color, I'm gonna show an image. And then I actually need to upload that image that we looked at from Canva earlier. So I'm gonna to go to upload image, select a file and select my hero image. So now that's showing there, but what you might notice is this section looks a little small. And in the future, hopefully Glide will make it a little bit easier to size this container. But for now, what we can do is add in what's called a separator component, which is like a space bar essentially, and put that inside of our container above the title. Let's turn off the line, the horizontal line, and make this space a little bit bigger. And so I'll just put two of those there, and I'll go ahead and do two on the bottom as well. And this gives us, if we expand this, this gives us a nice little landing page. All right, so now that first section is completed. And so now we need to go in and add the second section. So it's common in marketing to have like, you wanna make it easy for people to get started with you. And so the, the key number is three. So this would be like your three steps to get started or three steps for your customer to find success with you. So let's go ahead and add a new container. So I'll come over to the components and let's just start with a, a blank container. So that adds that down here. And the top section was some text. So let me type in text here and we're gonna use some rich text. The, the heading for this section is, it's never been easier to create your own landing page. So let's go ahead and plug that in here. And this is a little small. So let's actually make it bigger. And the cool thing about the rich text is that we can actually put in some HTML here. So I'm gonna put in an H3 tag to make that a little bit bigger. And then I also want to center it. So I'm gonna put in front of that a center, center tag, and that will center it as well. Now, same thing here, this is a little close to the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and push that down a little bit. And it's still a little small. So I'm actually gonna change it from an H3 to say an H2, and that stands for heading two, if you're not familiar with HTML. All right, so now below this, we want this list of three things. And lists in Glide are kind of powered by data. So I'm actually gonna create a new table here and I'm gonna call it steps. And right now there's four different fields here and that's perfect for us. And I'm just gonna rename these to, let's say step. This next one that can be description. Then let's do one called like uh, label. And this is gonna be another text field. And then let's add an image field as well. So this will be an image and we'll just call this image. So we have three steps. So let me go ahead and add in step one, step two, step three. And then I'm gonna go ahead and paste over each of these. So copy, customize, share, and then each of the descriptions that um, go with those steps as well. All right, and then for the image, we want to upload those images that I showed you earlier that I grabbed from Canva. Now that the data is inside of Glide, we can actually use it inside of our landing page. So here inside of this container, let's add a collection. A collection is like a list. And we'll go ahead and you, we'll just start with a grid collection. Over here, we can edit the settings of this collection. So instead of pulling from landing page, let's pull from steps. So you can see that right there and it already it already kind of maps everything how we would like it so the title is step that's good or maybe it's meta which one is it maybe title needs to be label yeah there we go so step one copy and then description so that's great and so now we just need to adjust the sizing so let's make these large the aspect ratio should be square and now we have this kind of three-step approach going on here and what I don't want to do, I don't want you to be able to click on these in this particular scenario. So item click, I'm actually going to choose none for this action. So now when people click on these, you know, nothing actually happens. Let's put another separator on the bottom and that will kind of complete that section for us as well. So two sections down, let's go ahead and complete the last section. All right, so our final section, this would be kind of like the final call to action on our landing page. So let's go ahead and create a new container and get started on this section. So I'm gonna come to components and type in container, drag that down to the bottom. 
And inside of this, I'm going to use my uh, rich text again. Let's drag that inside of that container. And actually, just to separate this visually, let's go ahead and set the container background to our accent color. That's gonna give it that uh, purple color. Now the text that we have is the fastest way, blah, 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 let's paste that in. And then same thing, we want to first center. So I'll sh throw in that um, HTML center tag. And then this top section, I want again to use that heading number two to make it a little bit bigger. And then I want the second line not to be as big. So let's go ahead and throw a paragraph tag in front of that so it's not as big. And then I wanna separate those. So I'll use a break tag, a break HTML tag to separate those out. Now again, this is touching the top. So let's go ahead and add in a separator just to add in some space. And we'll add in two of those. And let's go ahead and add two on the bottom as well. All right, so now we have this final call to action, but what we're missing is the actual button that would actually call the user to action. So let's add a component for a button, paste that in there, and we will have this titled as get started. And now I actually want to do the same thing that we did up here. And so since we're doing the same or basically showing the same message in two different places, it's good practice to not just duplicate this message, copy and paste it down there, but rather to pull it from data somewhere so that if you ever wanna change it in the future, you only have to change it once. So in this landing page, this is why we did this earlier, inside of this landing page, I'm gonna change this field to say notification, and I'm gonna paste in that text there. And then up here in our title where we showed this, instead of just typing the text in there, I'm actually gonna pull this from the data. And so now this is gonna pull notification and then same thing down here at the bottom. For getting started, the notification is gonna pull from the data. And so now whenever I press this one, it says thanks for using our product. And same thing up here, it says thanks for using our product. And I think I messed something up here. So collection, <laughs> yeah, so this is, we'll go to our collection, looks like it's adding a title. So right here, let me change that to custom. That will remove that title. And my friends, I think we have done it. We now have this complete landing page and let's go ahead and publish this so that you can access it anywhere on the web. Let's go ahead and paste this in here. So this is the URL, this is now live. And we can see we have this nice, beautiful landing page that was just created step-by-step -step for you inside of Glide. Finally, as promised, thank you for watching to the end of the video. I wanted to share with you where you can copy this template and start editing it and using it on your own completely for free. So this landing page is actually a template on the Glide uh, template uh, store if you will. And I have this link right down in the description. So if you go here, you can check out some images of the landing page. You can also preview it before you do anything. Preview the Glide project, that is. But if you actually wanna get started with this, all you have to do is click this nice, we'll call it teal, a button here that says copy template. And that will uh, walk you through creating your account. If you haven't created one inside of Glide or it'll copy it to your account and you can start editing right where we left off inside of this video. So go ahead and uh, check that out if you want to use this landing page. Hey, well, thank you so much for checking out this tutorial. If you liked this one, you'll probably like this video as well. So go ahead and click right there to keep on learning. Happy coding.